Let's make it easy to calculate net present value and the internal rate of return in Excel. So in this example, we're going to assume that we're thinking about purchasing a restaurant. And we know that if we wanted to purchase this restaurant, it would cost us $500 today. So period zero, today, it's going to cost us $500. So we'll have a negative $500 cash flow outflow. But then we are expecting that at the end of year one, that this same restaurant is going to return us $100 in cash flows. And then at the end of year two, we're expecting perhaps $200. And then year three, we'll say $200 as well. And then at the end of year four, let's say we're expecting to sell this thing for about $150. Now we need to calculate what is the present value of each of these cash flows today. We need an interest rate to discount back to today because of the time value of money. So we can just assume in this example that based on the risks of this investment, we've found that the interest rate is 4%. So now we can calculate the present value of each of these. So it, for each one, it'll just be the present value or the expected cash flow at that time divided by one plus this interest rate, make sure to hit F4 on your keyboard to lock that interest rate in. And then we put it to the exponent of the period. So for period one, since it's zero, that's just going to make the cash flows the same as the present value. But as we, as we take this formula down, you'll see that the discount rate gets higher. So we're going to right click, paste formulas. So the first way that we can calculate net present value is just to sum these net present values of each cash flow that we calculated here. We see that this project has a net present value of $87.08. When the net present value is a positive number, we should accept this project because we know that the internal rate of return is going to exceed the interest rate that we demand based on the risk of the project. Here's another way that we can calculate net present value. So we can say equals and we'll just do that initial cash outflow and then we'll use the NPV formula built into Excel. So NPV and then we'll just grab all or we'll grab the rate first and then we'll grab all of these values. And it will equal the same number as how we calculated in the first NPV formula. So then we can calculate internal rate of return. This one is extremely easy. So we'll do equals IRR, which is just Excel's inbuilt internal rate of return formula, and we'll just highlight all these cash flows. Here we find that the internal rate of return is 10.78%. So we're going to want to accept this project, but we can make a formula that tells us whether we should accept or reject for us. So we'll say equals, and if the internal rate of return exceeds the interest rate that we demand based on the risk of the project will accept the project if it does not we will reject it okay so we're seeing that we're going to accept the project but what happens if we change some of these cash flows so what happens if actually in year two we're only going to make a hundred dollars or we expect to just make one hundred dollars well now the internal rate of return is 3.58 percent which is less than our interest rate that we demand of four percent this makes our npv negative and we would want to reject this project but what if we change the inter the interest rate that we discount by to three percent so we're saying oh this pro this restaurant isn't as risky as we initially thought what happens if we change this to three well, now the interest rate is still below the internal rate of return. Our NPV is positive because the discount rate that we used uh, decreased. And now we're saying that we should accept the project. If you want to play around with these numbers yourself, feel free to download this spreadsheet in the description for free. Thank you.